Hola! Bon dia! And welcome to the Sunny Salvador project. In this video, we are going to be exploring the fish market in Corteira, the fruit market, and we're going to be trying one of the fish dishes that Shala also loves very much. This particular video is all about Oroj de Murishku, but to give you a little history, we thought we'll take you around the famous Quartera fish market. If you didn't know, it is actually one of the most famous spots in the Algarve, if not all of Portugal, to get some banging seafood. I hope you guys are excited for it. That's why we thought we'll share with you a Roz de Marisco here because it is hella tasty. We're a little excited and you need to go to the back streets for this sort of thing. We'll see you in the fish market. Oh yeah. There's so much fish guys, unbelievable. Like we saw tuna bigger than me, right? <laughs> and there's just a lot of stuff here, man. Look at those. It's a sardine season, they look so good. It looks really good over here, guys. Okay. So right after we filmed what we were filming inside of the market, we ended up having a very strange turn of events. We ended up going to Faro. May have 
have ended up at a motorcycle festival and ended up drinking beer. But we're back now. This is Portera. We're just taking a moment to dip our feet in whilst the tide is out. And lads, the sea is so warm today. And it's quite appropriate because we've got little fishing boats behind us. But let's give you a little brief down, a little history into the fishing town that is Porteira. Right now is when all the fishing boats go out and we can film them going out for their night's work. We showed you the market this morning. That place is emptied now. And so now they're going to get tomorrow's catch. Also, the lighting is bloody fabulous. Look at that. I mean, I know, Carl's is back. Hello. <laughs> I guess I'm going to talk a little bit about the history so, of Corteira. This road behind us. This road behind us. This used to join all the way to this part of the Avenida. This all used to be a road. And basically, when this town first came to be, there was nothing here but a few fishermen. The little village, which is up the top of the hill, and either side of this road was sand. Like, all of this was just pure beach. And then in the 70s, they, 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 they decided to rebuild the city and to do all of the um, buildings um, due to tourism. And then Portugal joined the EU eventually, and that also helped with it, because mm. they had a big fund. But this city has mainly been a fisherman's town, yeah. as Shala has mentioned in the previous shot, you can see the fishermen going out to sea. Yeah, you can just about can... start to see the lights. Don't worry, we'll get some pretty cute night shots yeah. of the fishermen. <laughs> so now we are going to try a horse de marisco. But hang on, what is a horse de marisco? So it is a Portuguese dish in between a seafood risotto and a paella. So it's not quite as dry as a paella and a risotto is a little, a little bit more starchy and it's got any kind of seafood. But of course the marisco has got all sorts of fish ingredients. It's got clams, it's got prawns, it's got crab. It, it has sometimes. sometimes if you go to a really, really good one and it's just a bowl of flavor and they serve it in a pan you know, and then just whack it on top of the table. They say it's for two people, but it's normally for four people. About 200 miles in that direction. That's where modern day Morocco is. And if you like a tagine, the basis for any dish such as Keteplana, a roche marishko, that's where it all comes from. It's a one pot dish cooked with vegetables such as tomatoes, peppers, a little bit of spice. It's got onions, it's got garlic, it's got bay leaf on it as yeah, well. Yeah, basically so. all of the good things. We're gonna demonstrate that right now yeah. in one of the restaurants that we recommended on one of our videos did. called Alfonso's. This spot behind us, there are two things that it is particularly well known for when it comes to fishing. As you probably can see, well, maybe, I don't know, they are a little far away. But the fishermen don't have to go far out here. Just beyond those shores, this place is famous for all sort of shrimps, tiger prawns, which we showed you earlier. Sardines are really good here. But yeah, this place is really bloody good for fish and seafood. <laughs> Charlotte's about to indulge herself in her favourite hobby. I know we've mentioned this a few times, but if this is your first time on our channel, you'll know that we're a little bit obsessed with these. They are native to the Algarve. It's carrots basically soaked in garlic, parsley, olive oil. And I don't know how they've done it, but it's a bit like crack. It's a little bit addictive. There we are. I don't know what else to say about that. It's just, it's just good. All right, Charlotte, next on the agenda. It's local, isn't it? Mm. Now, guys, one thing that I love about the starters in Portugal, you got the bread, you got the pate, sardine pate, right? I hate you so much. 
I, I know, Charlotte. I just love it. Charlotte absolutely hates sardine pate it because smells, of the smell. It smells like cat food. But it's really good, honestly. Like, oh, one of my favorite things to eat. Mm. No. No. It's definitely an acquired taste, <laughs> but it is good. What he means to say is absolutely rank. <laughs> I can't stand the stuff. But hey, what made us come to this particular restaurant? I mean, other than all the banging stuff, of course. Well, the Arroche de Manish cookie is particularly special. We'll show you what we mean when it turns up, but hands down, this is one of our favorite places. And as Carlos said, we have mentioned it in a previous video, vi video? in a previous video, talking about all of our favorite foods of the Algarve. So if you are in Quatera, check out Alfonso's. And the good thing about any restaurant really in Quatera is the seafood is super fresh, which is why when we do the video on our favorite dish of the entire Algarve, well, we have to come to Quatera and do it on the front, don't we? So. Obrigado. Oh, muito obrigado. Muito obrigado. So Charlotte, what was that pity pity thing you asked for? It's got to be done, isn't it? Mm. As you may have said earlier, not many Ayosha Mirishkas come with this tool. This one has whole crab's legs in it, which is why for us it is an absolute winner. Um, not that I know how to open them up to you, Carlos. I will give it my best. <laughs> My turn. Mm. Ooh. That's a good boy. Now think about of course the marishku. Very special feature is that notice how it's very liquidy Your now. It's very wonky. Oh. Um, apart from my plate being wonky, the more that you take out, you see the longer it sits in the pan, the stodgier it's gonna get. Mm. So yeah, that's a oh mate, this just, just looks like amazing. Go for the claw. Right, hopefully I can demonstrate somewhat how to not open a claw <laughs> of the of the crab. Neither of us know how to actually do it. We just wing it every time and it's uh, kind of embarrassing. So let's give it a try. So you have a measures here. Ooh. No, it's straight out of the pan. It's hot, it's sexy. <laughs> Yeah, that's really good. Oh, it's just a bit warm, so be careful not to burn your tongue. Definitely recommend it, man. Like, you've got the size of the, you, you get like all these prawns that come with it, all these different seafood, like clam, fish. Yum. Então é como é que é? Partes aqui, né? Sim, agarra com a mão. E agora partes. E depois a outra coisinha. Being taught how to do it, apparently. Okay guys, so um, you're supposed to break it in the joints here with this big big boy and then you get the pins and you scoop it out. You see? Um, like how I'm doing it here. <laughs> yeah, see there's some here, so that's good. So the same with this boy, so you kind of break the joints and you scoop it out. So this one has a lot more, you know, so. She said to use your fingers might be easier. Yeah. You are now a crab connoisseur. <laughs> mm. Tastes like yum. Like yeah, so yeah, you just pick up your fingers, you just, you just get messy with it essentially. Mm -hmm. Now, for anyone who loves a little bit of spicy food, 
highly recommend putting a bit of the local piri piri oil on. Uh, just go easy though. She's a uh, spicy one. She's a lit. Yeah, she's she uh, she can trick you. It's not like Nando's peri peri. It's the OG stuff is very different and uh, much hotter. Basically, it's like a really strong chili oil. But oh, oh wow, my face is already fire. Okay. The mix of like piri piri tomato and coriander just a winner it's just an absolute winner <coughs> love it what it's hands down my favorite dish here so guys appreciate how stodgy this is compared to when we sh we showed it to you this is when it's cooled down and all of the water is mixed in this is when it's at its peak eat a rosemarish we may have ordered too much food as per usual if you ever order a horse de marisco in the restaurant, it says for two people, that's Algarvian portions. It's enough for five, even <laughs> six people, okay? So make sure you come in with friends. Have it between four, you know, if you're hungry. It's a particularly good one if you like, get a nice bottle of white wine. There's a few of you, you share it all about. Maybe have a little side salad if you're really feeling fancy. It's a, it's a good dish, man. And we haven't even gotten to the prawns yet. Oh my God, the prawns. Oh no, is Charlotte trying to break through a lingerstein? Yeah. I know that is, most people would eat that bit, okay? But, okay, this is me. Um, I break the legs, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, 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 got it, got it, it's fine. Boosh. We're getting somewhere. I want you to do a tail on a lingerstein. Stop laughing at me. Right, okay. Okay. That's the last bit. And then the tail. You just whack it out, innit? Like that. Oh, oh so that wasn't too bad, was it? She made it. It's like... That is one of the hands on best way. Like... Chicken. So good. Got on did he just say? I just, I just told Charlotte prior to filming. You just like you go to the joint and you claw it out. I think that's a joint. Do it. Do the thing. I'm scared. <laughs> I've got oily really fingers. No, 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 no. It's, it's supposed to use your fingers. I did a thing. Okay. Right, so it should break apart and then you take it out with the pincers. I mean, I don't think that was necessarily me, but I'm going to claim it was me. Yeah, we, look at you go. I, you go. I'm a fancy adult. You are a fancy adult indeed, Charlotte. So, what's it taste like? Come on. Yeah, um, it's slow. It's not my fault. It's the nature of crap. I mean, meaty. That's the word I'm gonna go for. Meaty. By the way, I never used to eat seafood until I met Carlos. So this, you know, is good. My mum was vegetarian. I used to be freaked out by even meat. So this is brave. You only live once, lad. So, babes, what happened? Too much food left. I had to get takeaway <laughs> and I'm having a coffee to smear it down basically. Smear it down. To sink it down, Mr. Wash, wash it down, baby. To wash it down. Smear it down. That sounds oh, yeah. rank. It was a hot day. We had some beer, we've had some food, and uh it's time to go home and watch a good horror film and have a good sleep. But we'll show you the pretty little lights that are the lovely fisherman of Quatera before we go. Um, basically, if you go to the Dom Jose on the front of Quatera and then you turn up the hill, that is where it is. It's near the front, but sort of in a back street. The food is always banging. The staff are so friendly, right? Mm -hmm. They were really friendly, honestly. Yeah. Um, because we've been here a couple of times and Charlotte's family pop pop round, so everyone knows us. It's yeah. like we're locals, you know. They re they are really lovely. In fact, I think our takeaway from today is that the people of Quatera are the friendliest in the Algarve. Should we go see some fishermen at night? Let's go film yeah. the fishermen.
everyone. I hope you can see the lovely fishermen at night. That's tomorrow's sardines and a rush to Marishko on its way. You know it's fresh when that's your sight at night. You betcha, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This is us signing off from the Sunny Sadad project. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let us know in the dishes below. The dishes? <laughs> let, it, let us know in the comments below what your favorite seafood is in Portugal. Yeah, honestly guys, Cortera does not get enough rep. It's considered like the slightly scattered part of Yalga, but I'm putting it out there. There's a lot more going on here. The seafood is banging, and you should come and check it out. Don't just stay in Villa Mora. Come to Cortera side. It's yum. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe, lads, and uh, ciao, see you. Ciao, see you.